All right, guys. Today we're just gonna do an unboxing video of the a box of stuff that I got from Out of Darts. I ordered a whole bunch of stuff for my birthday, um, and there's just gonna be videos coming out of like completed projects and other stuff that I got from different sellers on like Etsy and Frontline Foam and Out of Darts. Um, I got the Omega kit, some Talon mags. Talon adapter and a lot of K26s and should all be pretty good. You got the Out of Darts sticker and the little thank you card from Out of Darts. Um, up here on top we got what I'm assuming is the Talon mags. I ordered them in transparent blue yeah there you go um, I'm not really one for half-length darts but since I'm getting a few things that only run on half-lengths I decided to buy some along with everything else um I've heard good stuff about them Jacob says good stuff about them uh, another one right here and this is the Talon adapter, which I got in black transparent. I think it looks pretty nice. I wanted black transparent mags as well, or at least, not. no, they're out. Um, or like transparent reds, but I don't think those even exist. Um, but the black's nice. It looks really cool, really clean, and... No? no? Oh, correct. And this goes in like that. It's perfect. And this... This is the Omega kit that I got. Ordered it in red, and it looks really fucking pretty online. And well, that's really good then, it's just holding in the darts. Well, that's spring in there, like. Oh, well, here's some hardware for the kit o ring and catch spring and whatnot. All right. Fucking pristine. It's beautiful. Uh, instructions but don't need that beautiful red metal long shot bolt sled lipless plunger tube with 16 kg spring uh, got the pusher breech mm -hmm. which threads into this the barrel and the breech piece dart gate dart gate dart gate that just threads right in there that sounded, that sounded great <laughs> and um yeah no there we go like that I need the o-ring and everything on that. Jacob and I are hoping to come up with a way to make this feed full lengths. I know it's designed specifically for half lengths, but I don't want that. Um, got the new catch. It's really nice. Ooh, if I can, there we go. Just fucking perfectly in. A solid Delrin catch. It's mm. very nice. I love carbon the red fiber. and the carbon fiber on the plunger rod. It just looks so nice. Then the spring rest piece just clips right in there. Mm. Gosh, there's even a lip on here to keep the spring in place. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. super nice. Mm -hmm. And just 
like that. Perfect. Oh, it's amazing. And then that threads in the blender too. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't do this earlier. Yeah, that pointer head fits in there really perfectly. That's nice. Like, I was, I was looking at how the this, like, if you look through there, there's mm -hmm. a fair amount of clearance mm -hmm. down in there between the plunger tube and the bulk cup. But that plunger head this fits is perfectly in machined to fit in there. Um, and I got my K26s. I got five of them because it's just a really nice price to get five instead of just the one. Oh, you didn't get the flat end ones? I thought I did. Hmm. It's not. Oh. oh well. Five, two, K five K26s for things. One's for... Oh, yeah, my square ends. Yeah. These don't look very square, Luke. <laughs> Luke, what are you giving me? I'm not gonna lie, Luke, these squared ends are... Fairly not square, but alright. One's gonna be for my Kronos that I'm making. I ordered um, the Chronomag conversion kit from Ezekiel on Etsy. You've probably seen the Walcom video of that. Um, he talks highly about it. I decided to get one, but I didn't get all the stuff that came with it. I got just like the 3D printed parts. I didn't want the barrel because I wanted to order a nice shiny red one from Monkey Mods instead. Oh, this is a machined part. Correct. I would have assumed they would have just molded the catch. No, not machined, it would have but... probably come out worse than that if it was just molded, yeah. But yeah, uh, this was all the stuff I ordered from Out of Darts. The, the mags, springs, and this really nice Omega kit. Um, I also ordered a X Zeus. They're currently out on Out of Darts and Jet and any other place you can think of. But a really cool person on Facebook messaged me, said he was selling his, and I got a pretty good deal on it. Because he cut a little like jam door slot thing in it. But um, I didn't really care. It was small and out of the way, and I can probably fill it in if I don't really like it. And this is going to go in there. Hopefully, uh, Jacob and I can come up with a way to make this feed full length. If not, I'll just have a really nice half length blaster that I can use. Um, yeah, we'll need to look at this once we get into a shell if you'll be able to. Yeah. I've, totally, I've totally seen pusher breech, pusher breeches that feed full length, but mm -hmm. I've never seen an Omega kit feed full length. It's interesting how they anodized it and then they machine I noticed that too this. I don't really mind it because I think the shiny accent of the silver looks cool against the red. Fine. It's also just like a really small piece but it's just interesting how yeah it, <laughs> how it is machined after the anodizing process. Um, yeah Jacob and I are getting a whole bunch of new blasters that we're going to be making videos about so keep an eye out for those. It's probably going to be a few more out uh, unboxing videos of just us getting our new nerf stuff. So, hopefully you like this one, because there's going to be a few more. Metal thread in there. And look, look at that. When it sits in the blaster, there's like 13 more 273 sticking out. Like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, feel free to message us on any questions you have or comments or ideas that we can do. We're open to suggestions, and we're pretty good at responding. Quick mag chain on it. I like the lever release better on the katanas. I don't. I I sort of like that because it's just so fast and easy, and it locks in really it's nice. Just, I don't like having to yank them out. Oh, a dollar fell. Nice. I don't know. But yeah, talons, from what I've heard, are better than katanas. We'll be able to test once we get some katanas as well. But I do like how these look. I definitely would have gone with the transparent black ones, but I would have too. They seem nice. There's no rattle when you shake them, so that's 
There's a little bit of rattle when you shake it like that, but that's expected. It's the springs hitting the two walls. Yeah, it like this. There's no rattle whatsoever. It's just kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know what a majority of this is. I don't know what... O-rings, that must probably... That the plunger rod. Those are O-rings. I don't know what this plastic like washer is for. Or maybe it goes on the bottom of the plunger rod. Where is the dart finger Diving? guide thing? Oh, the... I believe that's what's down in there. I see oh, little, correct. That is what's in there. See, I didn't see that earlier. A little red anodized bar wrapped in some bubble wrap down here. So yeah, that's cool. Pretty so this nice goes over the hefty breach. spring right there. Like so. I might be putting my 20 or 25 in this just to test it out as well. Once I get my Exus, I'll be testing different spring combinations. I forgot to mention, uh, I've been told consistently over and over again that FEJs are bad, but I don't feel that way, but I wanted to do some testing with other darts, so I bought some full-length ACC Ooh. darts and half-length ACC darts. That fit beautifully. Um, it's a really nice pusher fit in the barrel. Mm -hmm. but yeah, this will be a cool spring. Nice. So I'll probably be doing some comparison videos for half-length versus full-length and like ACC versus Elite and versus FEJs as well. Um, just so we can have the knowledge, because in my opinion, there's not really like a good oh, inclusive cool. review video on different darts. That's cool. Instead of having, instead of having a pin mm -hmm. to lock this in, it's a screw. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. That pin can sometimes be a little bit of a slut. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a nuisance or yeah. Yeah, I really like that. That's cool. This metal bolster is great. Especially if you can put it on other things. Mm-hmm. It just looks nice. What? But that's about everything. Um remember just always check back in. Uh hit the bell icon so when we're posting new videos, you'll know you'll be able to watch them. And uh, we'll see ya.